Before I start, this list is based on my personal opinions and generally how useful each language is. And with that out of the way, let's get started. TypeScript. TypeScript is a superset of JavaScript with the main difference being type safety. It can be used to build websites with the use of a framework like React, Angular, or Vue, create computer software with Node or Dino, or a fully fledged desktop application with Electron. Python. Python is the single most versatile language with its enormous library using pip that's also easily learned due to its simple syntax. Create websites using Django, games with Pygame, analyze data with NumPy, Panda, and Matplotlib, or create desktop applications with PyQt or WXPython. Swift and Kotlin. Swift and Kotlin are respectively the native ways of developing apps for iOS and Android, and they generally yield the best performance. An alternative, however, is Dart. Dart allows you to cut down development time by making your apps cross-platform using Flutter, with good enough performance for the majority of applications. C Sharp. C Sharp is a statically typed language generally accompanied by a framework. Use .NET to build Windows desktop apps and websites, or the Unity engine to build stunning games. Julia. Julia is a high performance language that specializes in data analysis and computational science. It can also be used to visualize data using 2D and 3D graphs with the ability to add a time component to make them animate over time. Golang. Golang is a statically typed compiled language with performance comparable to other low level languages while still having a garbage collector. Golang can be used to create highly efficient servers and cloud software using its net library or a full-fledged cross-platform desktop app using Wales. It is one of my personal favorites. Rust. Rust is similar to Golang, except it lacks garbage collection, but instead has paradigms that emphasize on memory-safe coding. Some people call it the successor to C++, but regardless of your opinion on it, it can be used to make low-level code for microcontroller devices such as the RP2040 or other embedded systems. However, with its extensive ecosystem and low-level nature, Rust can be used to make almost any application. C. C is the grandfather of all modern-day languages. While it's quite old, being made in 1972, it is still extremely prevalent and is the basis of most major operating systems, including Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. It's also been used to make many programming languages, CLI tools such as Git, and database engines. Its superset C++, which has classes, is also extremely prominent, but is generally considered much harder to use and easier to create bugs with. This has been my top 10 programming languages. If there are any that I should have included, put them in the comments below. And if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell.